it was humiliating, and it, but I think it's humiliating for Britain. I don't, I've sort of gone beyond caring about whether it's humiliating for Theresa May. I think it's humiliating for Britain. We are coming over to the world as a bit of a joke. And one of the reasons for that is the, is the lack of leadership and, and this sense that these sort of mantras that she comes out with. So last week the mantra was, there's only one deal. And now the mantra is, I can go and get something better to satisfy Tory MPs. And of course, right from this whole sorry saga, it's all been about the Tory party. But, but, but isn't the problem with someone who's advocating very strongly a second referendum is, you know, listen to people in the background. The country's divided. Yeah. Does it need to be divided anymore? Also, can you win? Well, the thing is that the idea, this, this argument that we shouldn't go back to the people because it would divide the country. As you say, the country is divided. And I actually think one of the reasons for that is because the political leadership on all around the place has actually not been truthful about what Brexit really means. They're all pretending. So Boris Johnson is still pretending there's some different sort of Brexit that he could deliver. Theresa May is pretending that this isn't going to be a catastrophe. Jeremy Corbyn is pretending that there's a jobs first Brexit. Be honest. Admit that if we are going to do this, do it with our eyes open, knowing that it means the country is likely to go into decline. And then at least give the, the public the, the, the chance to say whether this... Did anybody vote for this chaos? Well, when you say that, we are in a sense of chaos, there's no doubt about that. Who is most to blame? Oh, I mean, I don't care really who's, mo who's, who's most to blame, but I mean, I do think she's the Prime Minister. And OK, she inherited... I'm actually off to an event tonight where David Cameron's going to be at it. She inherited a bad deal in terms of, you know, the job. Very difficult to deliver something that would be delivered in such a divisive referendum. But along the way, she's made a succession of huge errors. Step one, she made no effort at the start to try to bring the country together. Because she'd voted Remain, I mean, she keep, people keep saying she's an arch-Remainer, because she voted Remain, she felt she had to lean out to the, to the Brexit extremists. She pandered to the European research group, the Rees Moggs and, and that lot. She then triggered Article 50 without a plan, with the ludicrous snap election. She went to Salzburg, Salzburg unprepared. She, you know, the whole way through, she's made a succession of errors. And she does them with this absolute conviction that this is the right thing to be doing now and this is the only way to do it. And now she's doing it again. And, and I just think, you know, it, and watching it in Parliament today with her first turn and then Jeremy Corbyn, it's like, it's like you're watching a football match and the two teams are both trying to take the ball into the corner flag and just hope it's sort of the game ends somehow. Labour want a general election. Well, if you want a general election, you've got to, you know, you've got to put your money where your mouth is and go for a motion of no confidence and see if you get it.